What's up guys? I kinda made something happen in the MMA community over the past 24 hours after I made a video a couple of days ago. And now it's time to make some content, dude. I'm ready. Just when you thought it was gonna be a boring, quiet, no UFC weekend, we've got Sean Strickland involved in the Ian Gary relationship situation. We've got lawsuits, leaked DMs, made videos on Instagram as well. I'm also gonna talk about some... Tweets that were put out by Ian Gary's wife that kind of alluded to the fact that she was going to try and sort of make a lawsuit against me as well, which is very interesting. Um, I can't see this on her page because I'm blocked on everything. But either way, we're going to go through the whole situation and I guess we'll start it here. I made a video. It got 616,000 views on Twitter and... Uh, it kind of just picked up from there, to be honest with you guys. We go on to, you know, Ian Gary responding to this video online. He said, at that boy MMA guru chill, you just made a 20-minute response to a clip that wasn't even about you. Sorry, bro. I guess he was talking about some other fat bearded man in the MMA community online that's been talking about him. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? So maybe he was talking about someone else. Ian Gary says that, and I say, get off his phone and untie him, Layla. We know this is you. You're not fooling anyone, okay? Which got a bit of attraction as well. And then Sean Strickland starts messaging about it, okay? But we're going to go through all of Sean Strickland's messages, starting with this tweet that he made. You know, you know I never talk about a fighter's... Oh, I'm going to do it in his voice. Why not? So here's a fucking thing, man. I mean... You know, I never talk about fighters, girls, but fuck, man. I almost feel bad for Ian Gary at this point, dude. Bro, your girl's a succubus. Sorry, bro. It happens to us all once. You got played. Hashtag wag. Hope you have a good prenup, dude. Sean Strickland. I don't know why I've got an alarm going off, but it's chaotic right now. Sean Strickland calls him out. Talks about how there's a weirdness going on with his situation in a relationship that he has. And then Sean Strickland makes an Instagram video about this topic as well. Hashtag save Ian Gary. Thinking that Ian Gary needed to be saved. Now, Ian Gary swiftly with what he responded with, which we'll get to in a second when it comes to the whole lawsuit situation, um, made it very clear that he don't want saving and maybe we shouldn't be saving him, okay? Sean Strickland comes out with this video. Listen up. You guys, I never talk about anybody's spouses, but this shit ain't right. It ain't fucking right. I gotta talk about it. Ian Gary, I remember I met you, dude. It was in New York. You were this fine-ass girl. She had the little nipple coverings. We We've all seen the video. We all fucking seen it, right? Every well, there you go. Everybody fucking seen it. But I remember thinking to myself, there ain't something right about that girl. There's something about that woman that ain't fucking right. The way she Lizard? Li maybe it was a lizard tongue that slipped out? In the uh, who knows? I'm not trying to put words in his mouth here, but I mean, who knows what he noticed in her? You know what I mean? That's the question, really. Something weren't quite right about it. That's how Sean Strickland felt. And I trust Deshaun Strickland's hood instincts about this whole situation, okay? She walked, the way she looked, the way she talked, I knew it. And now I'm finding out you're 26, she's fucking 40, the ex-fucking husband lives with you, you took the last name, motherfucker, she wrote a book on how to be a wag. I didn't even know what a wag was until now, dude. This shit ain't right, dude. She's a succubus. You gotta run away, bro. Hot girls are a dime a dozen. We'll get you one, we'll get you ring girls, we'll get you two at the same time, bro. You gotta pull the ripcord, man. It ain't fucking right, my friend. You gotta pull that fucking ripcord. I'm here for you, the MMA community's here for you. Do the right things, Ian Gary. Fucking pull that fucking ripcord. It started off wholesome. Like, we're gonna save this man, okay? We found out a problem here. Red alert, Ian Gary. The MMA community is here to help. You know what I mean? And Sean Strickland reached out his hand and said, Ian, I've got you, dude. We're going to get through this together. We're going to save you. But then, Ian Gary, in his response to this whole situation, okay, there's just a meme that I posted, but we'll get to the other stuff. In his response to this situation, decided to go a different direction. I don't know how I'm going to show this all on screen, but that's what I'm going to do. Here we go. So Ian Gary says here, And if you choose to continue to spread, knowing it's from the source, it's not true, then you're partaking in <laughs> harassment and defamation of character. Smart move would be to take it down. 
And then Sean Strickland replies with, the based one himself to Sean Strickland replies with, he puts his do-rag on and starts typing, here's a fucking thing, man. I mean, I'm not a lawyer. I'm just a guy who's trying to help a cuck. Well, sue me. Get in line, motherfucker. There's a few in front of you. I would have respected you more if you had threatened violence against me, but I guess it makes sense, cuck. And then Ian Gary responded, like the alpha male that he is. Great fighter, though. He is talented as hell. But this is a shame, Ian Gary. A shame that this is the direction that you've gone in. Sean! (laughs) Sorry. Sean, what you're doing is spreading hate, lies, and harassment. I'm helping you here, giving you a heads up. You know what that sounds like to me at the end? I'm helping you here, giving you a heads up. Sean, my wife's about to sue the fuck out of you. I'm trying to give you a little heads up here, man. You know what I mean? That's what it sounds like to me. It doesn't sound like I'm giving you a heads up before I send a lawsuit over. It sounds like he's giving Sean Strickland a heads up. Like, Sean, my wife's in her bedroom fucking really angry right now and she won't let me in to talk to her. I'm stuck in the bathroom hiding from her right now and just thought I'd send a message to you. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's real tough stuff for Ian Gary right now, dude. A real tricky situation for him. And then Sean Strickland made another response to these DMs coming out. Y'all will not believe what just happened. So I'm a homie, right? And I send you a Gary message. And I'm like, bro, hey, here's the thing, man. Dicks before chicks, dude. I know you're going through some shit right now. I know that fucking you got preyed upon. I know all this shit, bro. And I'm here for you. Just give me a call if you need me. And this motherfucker, he says, I'm going to sue you if you don't fucking delete that. You're going to sue me, motherfucker. He said that I was lying. Motherfucker, I ain't lying. You are 26. She is 40. She wrote a fucking book on how to be old and be with a young athlete. I ain't fucking lying, bro. This is factual. And Ian Gary, I don't give a fuck about being sued. You think I give a fuck about that? You want me to respect you. You say that I'm going to go fucking the Bass Pro Shop, wherever the fuck you go. I'm going to go buy a nine. I'm going to handle this like a man. I would have respected that. I don't fucking respect that. But hey, I, I fucking expect nothing else from a man like you. Damn, son. Strickland cooks him on Instagram again about the situation. Cooks him yet again. And now we've got more fighters involved. You know what I'm saying? Now we got more media personalities involved. Joaquin Buckley is involved in the situation. He's been looking for a fight with Ian Gary for a very long time. And now I'm rooting for Joaquin Buckley to rise up those rankings and sleep this. I'm going to, I don't know. I don't want to use. I don't know, I think I can say that slur, but I don't want to risk it on YouTube. I was, I'm talking about the white version of it. Um, either way, Ian Gary. What a mess. Why are we talking lawsuits out here, dude? What, what, what kind of world are you in, dude? It's real stuff. You know what I mean? I'm not making stuff up over here. I'm not making anything up. And if it turns out that I am, I'm playing a character and it's all a joke. And I'm, this is a satirical approach to what an MMA YouTuber would be doing. Um, but either way, it's not fake, dude. Back into character. It's not fake. This is real stuff that we're bringing up here. You know what I mean? It's a weird situation, man. You don't have to be okay with this. Problems, dude. And he's threatening lawsuits. And I want to mention, apparently I've been threatening as, I've been threatened as well with some lawsuits. Let me find it right here. Here it is. When I made my video in the first place, This was the first response to it on Twitter, and it was her. You know what I'm saying? Somebody get the holy water out. It was her. God, she responded to it. It responded to it. God. And she said, I've always loved law. Gained a Harvard certification in contract law about four years ago and was one of the smartest moves I ever made. Was it? I could think of a smarter move. Latching up Ian Gary at 23 years old could have been. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what a smarter move could have been. But I don't know. I wouldn't say it was the smartest move you, <laughs> you ever made. I mean, there's a couple other that have done you well. Um, now I'm studying slander, libel, and defamation. Opening a foundation to place all funds made from defamation cases to go towards a positive cause. Sounds like a threat, in other words, over Twitter here. From Layla Machado Gary. Finally changed her surname on Twitter. Either way. Uh, defamation is super simple. She says. 
Is it a lie? Was it publicized? Was it intentional? Tick those three boxes. Apparently she's Irish for that little bit of a sentence. Tick those three boxes and I'm going to make your negative a positive. There's a pattern. The more successful we become, the more shit people talk. I can turn all of this into a positive now. I'm ready. Basically saying that there's a lawsuit coming. I ain't had no phone calls. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. Don't. Please don't. For the love of fucking God. Just take it. It's weird shit. It's a weird situation. You're in the spotlight. And I'm just telling you right now. Neil Magny. I'm recruiting him as a soldier on our mission. Okay? Just to get it up to date. I made the video. Got 616,000 views. Okay? I responded to this. Of his response. I even responded to Strickland leaking these DMs as well. I said, Sean Strickland, don't take this out on Ian Gary. He's currently tied up to a radiator with a chastity belt on while his owner types out these DMs. He's helpless and we have to save him. This is before I heard about these lawsuits. Now it's on. Now there's no saving to be done. There's destroying to be... <laughs> I'm joking. No. no, I'm not targeting to destroy him. But Neil Magny is our newest recruit. Okay? Neil, are you out there? You got a big fight coming up with Mike Mallet, and I think you beat that can crusher. Okay? Because you beat anyone who's not talented. And that's true. And I said, anyone else remember when Ian Gary took Neil Magny's words out of context and painted him out as a child, so-and-so, before their fight at UFC 292? Sounds a lot like defamation to me. We will not be silenced. BLM, don't sue me, I'm a character. This is true stuff right here. Okay? Neil Magny. I'm putting out the Magny signal. Okay? Into the air. We need you. Counter lawsuit. Okay? <laughs> Just saying. If the, if the lawsuits start coming and the, and the GoFundMes don't work. Because I know Strickland's all confident over there in the US where there's free speech. But hey, I'm in the UK. Okay? Different country at the moment. Very different country. So I'm a little bit more, you know, on edge about the talk of lawsuits when it comes to speech. Let's just be honest. Um, easy for Strickland to be all confident about it, but this is a different country over here, okay? Neil Magna, we need you on our side. We need another soldier in the battle here, okay? Joaquin Buckley tried to join in. It's good. It's good. It's not good enough. Okay? We need Neil Magna. We need someone with a with a counter force. Because I remember a time I make I'm I'm gonna make a video about this later as well. I remember Ian Gary taking Neil Magny's words out of context when he said sort of like when he sort of uh he was being hyperbolic about, you know, whooping his kids, basically disciplining his kids, and Ian Gary for an entire build-up of a fight and at a press conference in front of millions of people to hype up his fight. And he said it as well, Ian Gary. He said that this will hype up the fight. This will make something happen. This will make a storyline out of something. He twisted those words of Neil Magna. And on a stage in front of millions, millions of people that could have wanted to buy whatever Neil Magny was being sponsored by, whatever Neil Magny was selling on his Instagram page, he said in front of millions that he was a that that, a child that, before their fight and tried to make him out to be something way worse than what he actually said. Sounds a lot like defamation, okay? That sounds like a winnable case. You know what doesn't sound like a winnable case? Going after someone for bringing up the fact that you have made public that you wrote a book on how to be a wag, okay? How to be a wife and girlfriend of, a, of an athlete coming up in the scene. You wrote a book on it. That's public information. I just brought it up. Red Pill MMA did the digging. I'm not even trying to throw him under the bus now. I'm just saying, like, respect to him. He did the digging. I just publicized it. You know what I'm saying? And let me get that two-word combination off the screen real quick. Get it back to Strickland or something. And you know what else is public information? You live with your ex-husband. Well, hang on, no, let me think. You live with your wife and her ex-husband. Make it make sense, Logan Paul. You know what I mean? Like, it's this is beyond Logan Paul. What's with these blondies, dude? What's with these blondies in recent era of humanity, dude? These blondies, they used to be something blondes. You know what I mean? Something special. 
in history. Now it just seems like they're a bunch of cucks as far as I'm concerned. But still, I'm just bringing up red flags here. And you know what? The initial mission was to save you. I didn't mean this in any bad way whatsoever. The initial mission was to save you. The fact that you've jumped straight to lawsuits about this situation because people dared to bring up your reality online. People dared to bring up your reality online. The fact that you've gone to lawsuits for it. Hey. I ain't trying to save you no more, dude. You've made your bed. Lie in it. While your wife's ex-husband lays in her bed. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) You know what I mean? Lay in your bed. It's actually pathetic, dude. Disgusting behavior from Ian Gary to jump straight to lawsuits here. Make your move, bitch. No, I'm joking. Don't, don't. Because I am worried about that. UK's different laws. <laughs> I mean, UK's very different laws. Very different laws. Terrible country. Um, oh, shit. I probably shouldn't have posted this because it's like, who do you want us to ruin next? <laughs> Just sort of going through Ariel, Adesanya, Ian Gary as with Strickland as like my catalyst and weapon. Um, <laughs> but either way, it's some crazy shit, dude. It's some real crazy shit. Just when you thought the UFC was going to be quiet this weekend. Who gives a fuck about PFL, dude? This is where the real content's at. So that's my video. I might make a video later talking about the Neil Magny situation. You know what? I am. It's on, Ian Gary. Okay? It's on. Weirdness, dude. Crazy situation. Why would he go this direction with it, man? We're trying to give you a heads up. Bro code stuff. You know what I mean? Like, "Mm, Ian... I think marrying a woman 13 years older than you, you know, might have been the reason why you kicked out, got kicked out of another gym, allegedly. Wrote a book on how to be a wag, allegedly. And, you know, got you to take her surname of her ex-husband that you still live with, allegedly. Maybe it's a red flag, but you know what? I hope Luke sleeps, y'all fucking bitch ass, dude. Let's go, Luke! One of my favorite fighters, dude. That would be the swift justice at the end of everything here. Vicente Luke. You goosh. Right hook, right on the jaw. <laughs> what are you doing? You've slept me here. I'm going to lawsuit you. And then as his bounce back fight when he's coming off a loss, Joaquin Buckley comes in for swift justice again. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'm going to make a Neil Magny video later today. Just thought about it. See how it goes. See you later, guys. Goodbye.